here's what happened. Never book if you, for any promoters out there, don't ever book me and Larry D. Because if that happens, you're either going to get a pandemic or it's, if there's a pandemic going on, go on, it's going to get worse. <laughs> Honest to God. So this truth. happened to you twice now. This has happened twice. It's okay. So like last year before this bullshit started, so I was supposed to work with Larry D at Conquest. Boom. Pandemic hits. And then when things started to get better, a little bit over the summertime, IWA East Coast booked me and Larry D against each other. Boom. It got worse again. So just let everybody know. As much as I love Larry D, and I know I can kick his ass, Larry, we can't have this match happen. So, I don't want another pandemic. So this match around. hasn't happened yet. Never happened. Ew. It needs to happen, but I don't want it to happen because I don't want no world order destruction or anything like that anymore. So just, <laughs> I don't want no destruction. I want just normalcy. I don't want no more pandemics. Like just we'll just let that one under the rug. It'll be the last match. Fantasy book la- that. Boys. It'll be the last match ever. Yep. Mad Mike, fantasy book that shit. Okay, that way yeah. we can see it happen. <laughs> there you go, Mike. Do you do you, do, you, do you, are you aware of Larry D? I, I I'm not sure. I am not aware of. Larry you D. should. You would love Larry D. This this dude. He's 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 old school. He's got the 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 power of the punch. Basically, uh, he's a he's a. I mean, he's just he's just like Beast Man. He's a big guy can just freaking move out there, right? Okay. So I'd love Sounds to see. Good. it. I'd love to see that. Have you ever, ever had his partner AC AC Romero? Never worked with AC yet either. So that's that would be a match. That guy, I he. I think he's actually lost weight since, but um, we uh, he was at a conquest show against Larry D, and mm-hmm. this is before they started teaming as uh, what the Triple XL, I think Triple XL, Team Triple yeah. XL. And I did he, like he's a big dude. Like I I can't remember the last time I've seen you know two guys clubbering each other on the outside and actually about you know been afraid enough to try to get out of the way, <laughs> even more so for a while. But um, no, there's, there's some pretty crazy big guys that can do a lot out there. So we're just that we're just crazy breed out there brother uh i mean yeah it, it, it's absolutely nuts um so and and uh i always love it because i think we had a kswa a few weeks ago where it's like you know anytime somebody sees beast man for the first time i'm like oh get a load of this shit <laughs> so, um you, you, man i didn't know what to expect of that show but when i saw a beast man pull apart uh brawl like two segments into it i knew it was going to be a good night so <laughs> How many of that locker room it took to hold me back? Half of it? Yeah, Not yeah. I even had more. Yes. Yes. So um, you got a lot going on. I mean, okay, you got the War Tag Team Championship here. Like I said, that is a big-ass belt. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. Yeah. So so you have notes on the belt for War. Okay. So we'll, 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 we'll get those to them. Uh, tell me about how did this come about, and who are you partnered with out there? I am the, <laughs> my tag partner is the uh, mysterious Movado. What? Who is this? We're not, we're not familiar, of course, in the Pittsburgh area with them. And, and of course, we got people all over. Oh, the mysterious Movado is an alien from, uh, somehow landed in Detroit, Wait, what? Michigan. Yeah. He's an alien. <laughs> so the beast man and, so the beast man and an alien walk into a locker room and they say, these guys are a tag team. Yep. Basically. Okay. okay. Book that shit. Book that shit. It's money. So, I don't even know where to go from that. <laughs> so, and what was it? The mysterious what? The mysterious Movado. Most mysterious Movado. Yes. Jeez. Um, I love that man. I don't know much about uh, war out there, and that's uh, what was it? Uh, uh, wrestling and respect, right? Yes, wrestling sir. out there in in Ohio, right? Yes. So, like, what are the, what are those guys doing out there? Oh, war has been around for 17 years. Okay. And uh, I will honestly sit here and tell you this right now. War is my favorite promotion to work for. Whoa. Uh, All the places I've worked, uh, everywhere I've gone, war is my favorite place. It is, uh, you have the best, and I'll I'll be straight out tell you right now, I think it has the best locker, I think it has the best roster anywhere in the uh, country, put up against anybody. Oof. I mean that. You got guys like, uh, a lot of people that uh, people don't know around here, uh, Mojo McQueen from Chicago, the Voodoo King. Uh, let's see, yep, there's me right here. Mojo's yeah. the guy right there in the. Uh, you got Mojo right there. You got Austin. I think he, he he was at the Lucha Show here. Yep, uh, he was up here across the street. Yep. Yeah. You got playing a husk, myself and the mysterious Movado. You got playing Cody. a husk. Yep. I love it. You have uh, Matt Taylor, aka Jesus Man. 
So what? and his entourage. That's my that's what Anna calls him. She's Jesus man. Okay. Now All here's right. now here's what pisses me off. Okay. So the other day we're we're having dinner. We're just talking. So I'm like, so she asked me, so who was your favorite wrestler? Just like out like out everybody you know who is. I really can't tell because there's so we many. Should have her interview on the show. Yes. And <laughs> I ask her, who's your favorite? Well, I guess I like Jesus man. I'm like, really? Jesus man. You don't even like me. So <laughs> Jesus man, yeah, heart. Heart well, to yeah. you too. <laughs> Uh, yet yeah, Warhoss is out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, yet yeah, Spirit Jemai again. More and more looks here in in Pittsburgh too. Yeah, of course, part of Fight Underground. They're popping up in two PW in a few weeks, so it's good to see them coming come through. Of course, they were with Rise Uprise for a bit too. Well, I whooped that ass over the weekend. And get this baby. Thank oh, you. Oh, that's Thanks a lot, Warhoss. So oh, no. unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, <sighs> Crosshairs uh, got injured. Crosshairs is having some medical problems right now, okay, so he okay. couldn't make the show. Chris, you're in my prayers, buddy. I love you to death. But it was uh, all in all, it was a good time. I mean, you, the We're, roster out there, award the fans. I mean, you got to come out to a show to really know what war wrestling is all about. The first time I was out there, 20, 2015, 2016, I'm going to say 2016, 2017, within the last like four years since I've been out there, Every month, I don't miss a show unless I'm hurt or if something else is like major going on. I've never missed a show. The Big Tom, straight up guy, honestly, one of the best dudes around. Like, he takes care of you. He's straight up. He's honest. He takes care of his guys. He backs up his boys. You, uh, I, Christine, his wife, sweetheart, like everybody from the crew that works there that helps set up the ring, tear down. Here's an example. Last show. Biggest show of the year, anniversary show, just happened this past Saturday night. Tom usually has like seven or eight guys to help tear down. So the boys usually don't have to do that. Well, about half his crew couldn't make the show because something was going on. Because they moved the show originally from the 22nd to the 29th. End of the night, the entire locker room helped tear down, the help put the chairs away, tear the ring down, all of us so we can get out of there. So we can help them get out of there early. That's why I love that because of the teamwork. And the passion of that company that everybody has for that company, you can't beat anywhere. And I'll put it up against any locker room, any roster, any promotion in the area. That's awesome. Because that's how much I love that place. That's awesome. That's good to see. Because I mean, it, it is a sign. You know, you know, being in different promotions, you know, you, you get different vibes, right? And uh, I mean, that's a, that's a big tell for something like that. So. That's cool. So they are in Lima, Ohio. Lima, Ohio. All right. So about, uh, it's about, about four and a half hours from here, three and a half hours from me. So there you go. And, and we, sorry, I keep flashing the mic. He's looking up these promotions. Uh, so, uh, but anyways, um, but uh, uh, so so great, great crew going out. And there's something that's always popped up on my radar just because of the people, you know, and you going out there, you know, seeing Warhost and, and everything like that. And and it always looks really, looks really cool what's going on out there. So uh, that's sorry, good to see. Sorry, I had to scoot up off was, the casting couch. A little slippery. <laughs> got to re- Don't know who was on this <laughs> earlier. So <laughs> what is happening over there? <laughs> Yo, I don't sit over there. I sit, that's why I'm over here behind all this stuff. Well, you uh, film so, everything, so that's right. I right, yeah, well, hey, you know what? I don't know what wrestling mayhem show. A couple of people got the X Files. So <laughs> the triple X Files, uh, triple X WMS. Uh, that's what now we come up on Patreon or OnlyFans. I think I don't think we're allowed. Uh, we already got in trouble with Patreon once, so. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what we need. We need OnlyFans, a uh, mayhem show. Only mayhem fans, show. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you ready for sexy podcaster pictures? We got sexy <laughs> firemen. Might as well get a sexy, sexy firemen. Sexy fucking mayhem go. show. There you go. You got Troy Lords without the pants on. You got um. I don't know who else is. I we've seen Chess Fluxer's ass on the show before. Um. It's it's been I maybe maybe Jimmy Demarco's other parts other than the other bits. <laughs> Who knows? I've definitely seen something of Jeremy DeMarco's. I, I've, I've mentally blocked it out because um, I've been told that's part of the healing process. Yeah, that's what me too. Me but too. Like, it's it's, I got this weird there. blur in my memory from a hentai incident. But uh, anyways. Um, oh, shit. Anything, I, yeah, anything with hentai, it's, it blinds you. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I just, there's just a hole in my brain where that happened. Anyways um let's bring it back around so so sensing a theme here of course you're doing stuff with war wrestling um and you're also coming up this weekend and i and i'm so sad because I, I i was initially supposed to be producing this show but i had another uh, uh client thing come up uh so i'll be in florida looking for wrestling um I got coastal championship there. wrestling Coast, I'm, not going south that, florida. I'm not going to south florida i'm just saying i'm around orlando and tampa i'm looking actually looking at wx W, I think is going to be a show Saturday night that I'm going to check out. Uh, I know nobody in the card, 
but I, I hear good things. I heard, you know, like we put that in so people respond to it. But you will be at Warrior Wrestling. Yes, I will. And it doesn't matter where you're at because that is on fight uh, on pay per view. So it's definitely worth checking out uh, there. I, and I can say, like, those three shows I did back to back back in September were just phenomenal. <laughs> it was just, I was just in awe at the stuff that we were we were uh, producing out there uh, in Chicago. So so what's going on with Warrior? You, you've been out there a couple of times. The crowd loves you out there in Chicago. I love Chicago. They love me. <laughs> what more can I say? Chicago Saturday. I know there's some guys out there tonight that's going to be watching the show. We're going to be at the show watching this right now. I can't wait to come back. I love Chicago. I love Warrior Wrestling. I am blessed to be a part of that roster. I like to thank everybody that's that's there, comes to support me. Saturday, you're going to see Godzilla versus King Kong live. And what I mean by live, you got Congo Kong, the monster, former Impact Wrestling superstar against the Husk, Beast Man Husk himself. And I can't wait. The ring is either going to break. We're going to be tearing turf off of that football field. It's going to be mayhem. No point intended. So, no, uh, <laughs> no, no swantons off of the goalpost. Right? My, that, that, <laughs> no, Joey Janela already Joey took Janela that. Joey Janela took so. that one. That was that was a wild night too. Um, makes me wish I had wireless cams. But uh, if, if you you don't know what we're talking about, uh, he was wrestling uh, Frank the Clown's protege, or he was a protege of. Uh, 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 both took that uh, uh, swan ton off Isn't of the goalpost. Look Isn't at that, that thing. Beautiful? Look at that thing. You know what? That was the night where I got Joey Janela. Because mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. hear, you, you got, he has his haters. People don't understand why is Joey like, Janela right. this? The first thing you probably heard of was when he got injured coming up, like off of that building into the truck From with Xander. barbed wire yeah. and everything, right? Yeah. So, Well, honestly, I met Joey when he was starting out when he came to VOW. He's been there, like, once or twice. Yeah. So that's where I remember him from. They hear all, like, you hear your Jim Cornette's, oh, Joey Nutella. Blah, blah. You know what, though? Fuck that shit. Joey Janela deserves where he's at. He's one of the best stars out there on AEW, and I'll be the first to tell you, if anybody wants to get pissed at me for saying it, Go fuck yourself, because Joey Janela is that good, and he deserves to be where he's at. Absolutely, it, it was always, and I heard an interview with him shortly after that incident. I think, and he talked about you're doing this hardcore stuff and everything, and he's like, "Well, I'm not doing anything. Like everything I do is calculated." And I think anybody, you know, the smart ones that do something like that and do these shock value things, you know, uh, there was the talk about MV Young over the weekend and the the stupid spot, you know, that happened there. But you look at it as like, the, the, he protected that girl, right? You know, and Joey is. The, this looks stupid don't get me wrong this looks fucking stupid but in in the long run if you see it like it's it's you know it's wrestling right i, I got something to say about that mm-hmm. about mv and that whole situation okay like i love mv young to death yeah okay? he's great like he's that's my boy he he's known me i've known him since he first came down here brother got brother got noticed on the internet again mm-hmm. okay he, this motherfucker is so good at getting at getting going viral on the internet. Killing it's it. insane. You know, there's gonna be a shit ton of people who say, that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck? You know what? It's 2021. Okay. Wrestling has evolved so much into so many different types. You got your deathmatch wrestling, you got your intergender wrestling, you got your modern wrestling, you got your old school wrestling. Like for me, like intergender wrestling is not my cup of tea. I've been, no. I'll be open. But there's an that. audience for it, there right? There is an audience yeah. for it. Okay, I actually I enjoy watching it because there are some good intergender wrestling matches. MV is probably one of the best people out there to do it. And that if he went out there and did that, and that girl was okay, brother, keep doing your thing, man. You know I love you. Mm-hmm. MV, keep doing your thing. It's a good breakdown of that. I think they interviewed, uh, and I, I I keep forgetting her name. Uh, but it, it, it's it's not it's not that we don't we're not trying to be assholes or anything. It's, we just got I got so much going on right now. Like I can only see bits and pieces. Yeah. But seriously, but like, isn't something like that the perfect thing to rise above? Because everybody's watching too much wrestling or has too much wrestling or too much to do these days. Or you're competing with your TikToks and everything. But if if you rise above that noise, like somebody like he did, or somebody like you when you were doing you mm-hmm. you've done some interesting. Yeah, videos I've gone on viral the internet. Couple, I've like, gone viral a couple. Times, yeah. So. so, but and now more people know who you are, and then you show up in somebody's town and deliver an amazing match, right? And mm-hmm. which is something that you can say Envy is doing as well. Yes. Because I haven't seen I haven't I haven't seen a shit match from him yet. So <laughs> I want you to timestamp this. I want you to put what I just said on Twitter. 
and send it directly to him. I want him there to see There you go. This. We'll tag him. We'll right. tag him. I want him to see it. Absolutely. Because you know there's so many people right now that are talking shit about this. Why? Mm-hmm. It's, you know, you're not going to have... But, but Barstool Sports had an opinion, I guess. Yeah, well, you know what? Hey. But who are they? Are they <laughs> wrestlers? Do they know how this works? You know, I don't... I, you know, I can't tell you how half the shit works when I think so. I think, like, I watch half the stuff in front of me with a camera in my hand. I'm like, fuck, that guy's fucked up. Mm-hmm. And everything's fine, right? So, you know, ideally, hopefully, right? So, like, who are we, me and Mad Mike, to say that that's unsafe? Yeah. Well, yeah. think about it like this. Or, they walked right. away. Sidebar. Chat me up. Okay. Since this pandemic, is like, since last March, okay? Yes. My whole world's been fucked. Upside down. So is everybody's, you know? Yes. Every Larry D match, right? Every Larry we got, D. We, yeah, we checked on that. Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia. My normal places I work, Michigan, I work, shut down. Yeah. Where am I going to go? Now, I've been blessed. I've been blessed, okay, that this pandemic has actually helped my career tremendously. It has actually stepped my level up. I've actually gone a level up, going to new places, being able to get out there more. You you had to kind of reshape your plan. I had to. A lot of people had to. And now, now with everything opening up back up around here, the the the, the nearest place that's going to be close to me is War Wrestling, Lima, Ohio. So that's the closest thing home to me right now. Like, look at my schedule next week, Chicago. Mm-hmm. I got nothing to 12. If you got anything, if any promoters are interested in booking me, Direct message me or go to Twitter <laughs> at Beastman Husk. I, I I guess I'll put that in at the bottom and post. I don't so, know. I yeah. <laughs> uh, but nineteenth, got going. I'm going uh, fight underground. Yeah, got something going on there. Twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh. I'm going to be in West Virginia, down in Charleston, taking on Caleb Colony. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going down to Georgia for Larry Otter Pro Wrestling Guild. Uh, July 3rd, I'm in Madison, Indiana for Supreme. 4th, back in Lima for war. 10th, uh, I'm going to be... ninth, The 10th and 11th, I'm going to be in Florida for Coastal Championship Wrestling. 17th, uh, it's either going to be Warrior or it's going to be KSWA up here for my birthday. What a way to celebrate my 35th birthday wrestling, you know what I mean? <laughs> Two of the biggest shows, you got Brawl Under the Bridge, you're going to be at the stadium, stadium Series. And then the 23rd and 24th of July, I'm going to be in Oklahoma and Texas. Last year, Jeez. never thought I'd be doing this. Never yeah, thought yeah. I'd be what, traveling what, all over the What place. did your loop look like uh, uh, before, pre-COVID? Uh, Pittsburgh, West Virginia, Pittsburgh, Ohio. West Virginia, Ohio. I had maybe one or two Tennessees in there. Yeah, Michigan. De- I know you were, you, were, you, were, you were hitting Detroit, Detroit a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, going out to Jersey once in a while. So, But now like things are just... I mean, literally, the world has opened up to me. Like I have literally... Like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn... But I've literally gone cross country twice in the last six months because of this. I've wrestled in Vegas. I've wrestled in Utah. I've wrestled in Texas, nice. Tennessee, Georgia, uh, North Carolina. Fuck. Name name a state. I've been there. How is wrestling in Utah? Great. Yeah. I love Salt Lake. The yeah. Motion Championship Wrestling is amazing. I hope uh, to be back there again soon. I got to get some Utah wrestling then. Okay. All right. But, you know, it's just luck. It's just the luck of the luck of the draw. Mm-hmm. Seriously, mm-hmm. get a phone call. Get a phone call from a friend. Hey, you want to go work Warrior? Sam Adonis, thank you very much. I appreciate that. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be sitting here talking about this right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm not bullshitting. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be in Texas. If it wasn't for Texas, I wouldn't be in Utah and Georgia. So I'm loving the live crowd reactions, by the way, uh, in the uh, Beastarage. Uh, so... <laughs> And you have a beastarage. Yes, and I got and I got a beastarage. Who know who knows what's going to happen here in the next year? Is the beastarage going to show up at these shows? Maybe. Um, oh God forbid, my old lady doesn't like to fucking drive drive more than five hours. Or she oh, oh, so. well, she hasn't. Welcome been to, Chicago. to the business, kid. You no, haven't been to Chicago not yet? yet. You haven't been, like take her out there, get some deep dish. Did you pizza? see her face? Did you see her face? Think about Nashville. There's we went to Nashville two weeks Nashville. ago. Nashville. Yeah, Nashville. What'd you do in Nashville? Nothing. Nothing. She went and saw me wrestle. And beat up and got kicked in the face by a 500 pound Vince Steele. I love you, Vinny. So. You, not her, right? No, not no, me. Okay. She got the husk layer that night, though. I'm joking. <clears throat> hey, I got to put it over. So. There you go. <laughs> put the husk over. Uh, no, great stuff. Of course, Warrior Wrestling live on Fight. Uh, this Saturday, this baby. Saturday. This Saturday. 
Call your local cable providers right no, no, now. No, no. That's, not, that's not how it works. No? No, no. Download the app. Download the app. <laughs> and if you want to, call your local cable providers. I mean, Look, it might be on your cable box. I don't know these days. But... I got to tell you about NAWA. What is NAWA? Oh, NAWA. We got, yes, we got, let's Did go to break. And, yes, we got to go to break. Okay, wait, are you going to tell me off air? or No, what I'm going to tell it? you on air, but I got to go to, like, do we have a few extra minutes? <laughs> It's a podcast. We can do whatever the okay. fuck we want. Well, I got to piss. We've done three. So... Okay, well, tell you what. They'll keep the story short. Then you got three minutes to go piss. Uh, so tell me about NWA. <laughs> NAWA. So, Tony Capone out of uh, New York. Tony okay? Capone. That's his name. He used to run years ago. Okay. Funny story. He actually took uh, the UWF's TV, t- TV deal from uh, back in the day and made it, it made NAWA because of that. Okay. So it's like literally, this is literally its own Dark Side of the Ring episode. Okay. I think there's a lot of Detroit wrestling I was exposed to. Well, that's this probably is, a Dark Side of the Ring yes. episode. Yes. And you're going to be exposed to more in a couple weeks. So. Uh oh. Wait, wait, what? So <laughs> okay. I get I get a message uh, one day on Facebook. Hey, my name's Tony Capone. You want to wrestle for an AWA? Sure. Why not? Give me a call. So I'm looking up online, seeing what like stuff he's going to do and like at first i'm thinking okay this is going to be like any other promotions bullshit blah 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 well closer to uh closer to the show like maybe about a month out like things are going good he's running he's running in florida from new york he's running in florida running the daytona ocean front center okay jeez now this is the place the daytona beach florida where the nwo was born where hulk hogan turned heel uh all this this is where it all happened the Vince, the infamous Vince Russo promo where he buried Hogan, where, where Hogan won the world title from Jeff Jarrett for the 50th time. All this, okay? Uh, I'm thinking this, like, I didn't know what to expect. So I get a plane. So I go down to Florida, probably got COVID, don't know. I uh, got a free plane ticket, got really good pay, stayed up the hilt across the street, wrestled in a 9,000 seat arena for 300 people. But at the end of the day, in all honest God's truth, it was one of the best experiences of my life. Okay. Because if it wasn't okay. for, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be wrestling in Florida right now for Coastal, which is I'm telling you right now one of the best company, which is the best company in Florida. So I think it takes like a I, I'm not saying much, but they're trying to build something good out there. And I'm telling you, good. if you're going to Florida good. next week, that's where you need to go. Well, Take the extra two hours, go to Miami, go bash the brew. I think it's more than two hours to go to Miami. Three hours, four hours. I don't know how the, from Orlando Lakeland area. I'm telling you, go so check them I out. I don't know. I don't know if I can. I don't think I can do that in my evening time. But uh, um, the, uh, go check there, that out. There's more to this story, but we gotta keep it short, like you said. So because we gotta get to Mad Mike's AEW um, sim game gimmick he wants to do. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! There you, gotta you go. Fix your mic. Gotta fix my mic. I got. There we go. There we go. How many years? And I'm the one with the mute problems after all of a sudden. <laughs> but uh, professional here. It's only been doing this for 16 years. Anyways, um, but uh, good good stuff happened. I'm glad to see it. It's, it's been awesome to watch you over the last year to you know expand the horizons, get around, Thanks, get Lord. the traveling on. Uh, so it, it's it's been good. You you you're one of the good guys in the business. And uh, and it's good to see it happening for you. So, uh, you know, and uh, Sorg, it's going to what? We had to talk about my upcoming title match for Fight Underground. I won area two. You won area two. two. You got the Rev Ron Hunt coming up. I'm going to whoop that ass. In an undisclosed location coming up here in the uh, within the next month. I know next month. It's undisclosed. I don't know where it's at. You it see, might be it might be in Baltimore, it might be in Philadelphia, it might be, it might be in North Carolina, it might be in Florida. Yeah. Hell, it might be at Kit Cooper's house, who knows. It might what be if it, what if it's in parts it unknown. It might be it might be in parts unknown. It might be where the Ultimate Warrior was buried. We don't know yet. I am so excited. <laughs> you know, about if the match this. happens on the Ultimate Warrior's grave, I'm kind of cool with that. It might be at the Spurk house. We, <laughs> we don't know. I, I think that's that is especially prevalent during yes. Pride Month. Absolutely. Absolutely. It might be a Springdale Absolutely. Slam. Spring that might be a spring day. It might be 2022. <laughs> it might. We're, we're it might be at the taco stand across the street. We don't be. know. We don't know. It might know. be a lucha. It might be at the Rex Theater. I would love it for it to be at the Rex. Well, we're gonna be very alone because I don't. I mean, we're gonna have to break in at this point because they're That's not. Fine. Or it might be in this studio next week. We don't know. We it don't might, know. It might be right now. I the do. revs in the back. I don't know. I want Russell Rex to return more than anything. I'll oh tell my you that god! Right yes, now. those were fun. Yes, it was. Those were fun. A lucha show. Everything. Those were were a blast. Um. No. Yeah. So. So. 
part of the fight underground. That's one of the things you did, <laughs> at least locally, that we could do in the in the undisclosed Pittsburgh location. I, I do ask a favor though. When I do win the fight underground championship, for God's sakes, do not call me Beast Man Two Belts or whatever the hell they that stupid thing that they've been telling. Oh, I won two belts. Look at me. Blah, blah, blah. Who was doing that? So you don't want to be two belts, Beast Man? No, I don't. I am. I I don't because I. I represent two different companies. I'm how about two. how about two beasts, two belts? That's better. Okay, <laughs> that's better. I and like that. See, it, it, it's you, you just gotta find the the right thing that works for you. Yes. That's, yeah. that's all it is. We'll yeah. have my beast garage come out. We'll have Ronnie. There you go. Carry the belts out with him. We'll get him on stilts so people can see. Okay. <laughs> <You know. laughs> all right. So 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 we're saying here, but Ronnie Ronnie Starks is uh, unretiring once again to become your for the hundredth time for your belt holder, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look, I can't tell you how many times in the past years I've counted since he's retired. Where is he at night? I don't know. I have no idea. Where the hell? I, I came no here idea. just to see Ronnie. He's probably afraid I was going to chop him again. Yes, he was. To Whatever. be fair, with the three-day weekend, he may think it's Thursday. Yeah, he may. I don't know if he has a time situation going on right, no. right now. So, you know, it happens. Yeah. He didn't accept. Ronnie Starks didn't accept your friend request? That I wouldn't accept your bitch. friend request either if he... That's uh, uh anyway. Listen, do you, if I would tell you guys a story of what I had to put up with before I started dating her, the background checks, the stalking. Wait, what? Oh God. Wait, wait we were talking about the other ladies, or the other or? La No, no, not the other ladies. The ladies. So. The, the ladies. No, the the, the beastarage over here. That's the story we can. That's a sidebar for off camera. So. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> um. Did you adopt them or did they adopt you? Apparently they adopted me. Okay. So. That's what I thought. That's what I kind of figured. Uh, hey, but you know what? In the end, isn't the adoption of friends we made along the way? What? What? I don't know. I don't know if that works. Are we? I think it does. Is. No, it's it's like, you know, some say I rescued this puppy, but really this puppy rescued me. Wait, is Beastman the puppy? Am yes. I? Okay. Well, I'm a sad lost puppy. I, I was going to say, how did you not get that, Zorg? 